and we're live. Hi everyone. Happy Tuesday. My name is Barbara. I'm from allbrands.com and I'm so glad that you're joining us today because I have a very special guest and um, I also have a brand new fun thing in my sewing studio that we're going to talk about and uh, we are going to talk about cutting fabric on the scan and cut and different ways to do it with Rosemary Castillo Sarton. She is from San Antonio. She, you, if you're familiar with our San Antonio store, uh, you have probably seen many classes that she has on our schedule. She is a, uh, she's been in the Air Force for 23 years as a musician. Uh, and when she wasn't doing that, she was running her own business for embroidery called Upper 90 Logos, and she just so happens to love embroidery. She teaches Kimberbell for our stores. Her name is Rosemary, and so happy that she's here. And I just so happen, since we're talking about brother machines, and I just got my Disney, today is Tuesday, so it's tackle sticky situations. So I thought that that was very pertinent to what we're doing today. So uh, if you're here, please give us a shout out. Let us know where you're from and uh, and where, where you're watching from. So I'm going to bring in Rosemary. And here she is. Hey, hi, Rosemary? everybody. <laughs> oh, how are y'all doing? We love seats, all brands, and Rosemary. Yay. I agree. <laughs> I miss all my I miss all my people that went to classes. I really miss seeing them. So thanks for joining us today. Yay! So we're gonna learn about cutting fabric, right? <laughs> cutting fabric. That's probably the one of the biggest uh, requests that I get anytime I teach scan and cut. So when I teach in the door, I teach very different uh, variations of scan and cut classes, but everybody starts with the basic class, how to use your machine. But right away, they want to know, oh, how do I do this? And how do I do that? I'm like, whoa, yeah. let's, let's learn how to use our machine first, and then we'll get into it. So when I do the fabric class, you know, we take a couple of hours. This is not going to be two hours long. <laughs> oh, <laughs> but we take a couple of hours <laughs> and we, uh, and we cut fabric different ways. So today, well, what I did, um, and you probably saw the picture on um, on the Facebook, uh, and I did this just right off the, um, the, the bat. And I said, you know what, we need to cut fabric, so let me make something fun. This was a, a garden, flat, uh, garden flag uh, blank that I had. And I said, well, let's just do that. And believe it or not, everything on here was made on the scanning cut. Rosemary, um, I mean, we everything. got a lot of shout outs. If we could just take All a right. moment to recognize. Hi, Lisa everything. says hi, Rosemary. Hi, Lisa. Um, hey, make Julie. sure make sure your uh, husband, uh, Lisa, <laughs> has a, um, has a, is a fully, fully clothed. There's a funny story behind that, actually. So <laughs> she'll appreciate so we that. Have, we have Julie Robinson from San Antonio. Have you been to our store there, Julie? Yes. <laughs> yeah. All Brands has awesome. seven locations. She just bought us the lair. Oh, great. That's she us, exciting. Yeah, she bought us the lair uh, back earlier in the year. So they're really exciting. Yeah. So can you tell us a little bit about the guide classes that you teach? real quick in the San Antonio store? I I teach all of the guide classes for the Brother Machine. So uh, I do the, uh, the basic one and two, which covers your utility stitches, and two covers your basic, uh, your decorate, decor, I'm sorry, decorative stitches. Uh, and, and we learn uh, some about the feet and the features of the machine. Uh, mm -hmm. If you have an embroidery machine, you teach, I teach uh, everything about uh, the embroidery function of the machine. And uh, a lot of times we'll have time to sew out a little, uh, a little thing. Uh, and then uh, if you have one of the, um, the top end machines that has my design center, like the Solaire, the Luminaire, the Dream Machine, and the 1050X, uh, we have a separate class on that. And that's yes. really probably one of my, between the embroidery, I love sewing, but between the embroidery and uh, my design center, uh, that's just, those I'm are so the best excited. classes. You should see the light in the room just get brighter 
every time we learn something new. So yeah. it's really fantastic. I'm so excited that you're here. And y'all, if y'all don't know um, Rosemary, she is so great. I mean, not only thank you for your service <laughs> for our country, you. but she Appreciate has an that. awesome personality. She's so fun. And we just so happen to go to Utah together for yes. kinder <gasps> belt training. And that I was super know. fun. We saw the buffalo in the yes. park there that was yeah. just so special so oh and yeah. that freezing water with mosquitoes and everything oh, but oh I remember forgot that? about that <laughs> oh but it's beautiful it's, in Utah was, oh it's so beautiful there it was so nice South we really Carolina. really enjoyed it. yeah South we, uh, Carolina my husband's from South Carolina so welcome Charlene whoop, whoop. <laughs> that's beautiful there too oh my goodness yes it is so yeah so talking about my design center i mean my design center with scan and cut is perfect because colleen and i made this little star in my design oh, center very cool since, since the yep. sdx models right read uh -huh. pes yeah. files and the applique Correct. files like i wrote Correct. this in the embroidery machine took it over to the scan and cut um and then cut it out and then went back to the embroidery machine and stitched it down. So it's so cool how yeah. like the brother machines with the scan and cut work out so well. So yes, very, very cool. I, yeah. I really enjoyed that. And it works with the, um, uh, not my design center. What is it called? The embroidery software that is BS4. That's Yay. what it is, BS4. <laughs> and I believe in the um, second power pack, it enables a lot of the scan and cut features. So you're able to do a lot of cutting and that's mm -hmm. kind of like your graphic software yeah. uh, for the scan and cut besides the, um, uh, I, I lose my, I have a lot of software, so I get confused <laughs> as to which one does what, um, the canvas workspace. So you have yes. that one, but uh, B, if you have BES4 and if you've had the second power pack, boy, You've got something powerful there for your scan and cut. It's really, really cool. Yeah. So, so yeah. on Friday, everybody, I'm going to be doing a live with Becky Thompson of Power Tools with Thread. We're not quite ready to get into BES4 yet. That's a step up. But we're going to be talking about the Simply Applique software at 10. Yeah. So maybe, uh -huh. Rosemary, you and I can get together another week yes. and talk about BES4 software. Is it oh, a date? Oh, don't get me. If I if you've been in a software <laughs> class with me, you know the deal. Don't get me start. Don't get me talking about software because we will be here for all day. Um, I tell them ninety five percent of what I do is in front of my computer, and it's and it's true. Uh, it's just what it is. Working with uh, with graphics, that's what embroidery files are. They're kind of a design uh, implement. So you've got to have something. They start from somewhere. So, mm -hmm. and then they end up making beautiful creations. So yeah, awesome. love it. Love we it, should have it. a pizza party, BES for <laughs> Ooh, that would be fun. We yeah. yeah. <laughs> we can do that. And then maybe we can do a little bit of uh P design 11 yeah. too. That would be awesome too. Yeah. And so. if anybody wants to see anything in particular on Brother Machines, Rosemary's, I'm sure, hopefully, is going to be back on in the future if she, she'll be with us. Yeah. Yay. Sure. And uh, so just let us know what you'd like to see in the future. But today we're going to talk about cutting fabric in different ways. Yes. So Cutting fabric. So right. I was not a big applique person. I'm uh, I'm embroidery. And so I'm pretty much from the, uh, the business side of embroidery. I don't do a lot of cutesy type of stuff. Uh, and as much as, you know, I love it. I think it's gorgeous, but I'm in production. So for me, I'm learning as, you know, just along with, with y'all. So cutting fabric on any kind of digital cutter uh, and particularly the um, the brother uh, Scan and Cut PX uh, is really awesome. It's going to cut whatever you need, and even if you have the CM models, the 650s, the 550s, it's going to do the job for you. The trick in this is how are you preparing your fabric? So I have a piece of fabric. This is a piece of fabric. It's just a piece of fabric. You can cut this on the Scan and Cut, pretty much no problem. The problem with this, so I'm gonna see if I can get it a little closer, see how I've got some fraying? When I cut this, you will have fraying on this, okay? So 
How do we cut it? You, your scanning cut comes with two mats, the standard mat, which is the purple mat, and the low tech mat. Now, you also get, and that's the one thing I didn't bring up from my uh, bag, is uh, a roll of high tech fabric support sheet. And this one, because I've marked it, high tech fabric support sheet, <laughs> so I get confused, is a, another film that you put on your mat that makes it super, super sticky. Like I'm holding it on with one finger and then it lets go. So this, putting that on a, a um, dedicated mat will help you with just cutting fabric that has not been treated at all. So that's one. In fact, I will probably put this on the mat and you'll see me move the camera uh, a bit. Let me, I can't flip. So I will turn you well, around. <laughs> oh my gosh, look at that studio. Because you've been busy, lady. Oh my goodness. <laughs> I I've cleaned up my studio and I uh, I'm rearranging some things. So <laughs> another couple of things that you can another uh, way to cut fabric is um, using free paper. So here's another free fabric. Here's some freezer paper. Freezer paper is kind of like butcher paper, but it has a shiny side to it. So I can put this inside my freezer paper. Now the only thing with <laughs> the only thing wrong with this is that you've got to realize which is the right and the wrong side of your fabric. Very yeah. important. As to how yeah, that. because if you have your fabric face down, then you mirror image Correct. it before you cut it out. Right. But if it's face up. So like I know I put this face down, I would probably take a harder and put a W for the wrong side. So I will put it in between them, take my iron. Look how cute my little iron is. I love it. I got this a quilt. Oh my on. gosh, hold on. Is that the and Aliso? You just press it. We have it is been Aliso. selling those like crazy, guys. Actually, I love it. it Tula Pink just bought one off of our website. I can't, maybe I shouldn't say that, but I was selling ah. an order and I was like, oh, Awesome. Like I was starstruck when That's I saw so it. Cool. <laughs> See, they don't get everything for free. So there you go. <laughs> so here's my sandwich right here. So oh I can my. take the paper scissors and um and just cut around it just to make it. So I wouldn't cut too close around it because it is like a little sandwich and it has sealed itself off. And so you know, I everybody can put has freezer on my standard mat in their house. I mean, most people. Oh my gosh! And it lasts forever. Yeah, it lasts forever. Um, so that's another way of doing it. So those are two like raw fabric ways of cutting your fabric. So the I have other, a question. Go ahead, Rosemary. Yes. Um, when you do the freezer paper, do you still use the high tech fabric support sheet? No, I will probably put this on just a regular standard mat. Just a mat. It's paper, okay. And I don't want it to stay on that mat okay. at all. Yeah. So like with the scanning cut, so there's a gold blade for fabric and a black blade for thicker stuff. Do you, which blade do there, you I, You know what? I have not cut on the um, on the SDS with freezer paper. Um, so it will be a trial. We'll, okay. we'll cut some and we'll see what happens. So yeah. uh, she's right, you have two blades. The auto blade uh, cuts just about everything, just everything. And then the thin fabric blade, which is the brown blade. And you notice I have fabric on here because that's all I'm cutting with this <laughs> blade is fabric. That I have is another so hard. Uh, I have another tan blade that I can cut vinyl with. So if I'm doing decal vinyl, I am uh, I'll use that blade to cut decal vinyl uh, instead of you know my fabric blade. So this is only only fabric. So there you go. We got a shout uh, out from Deborah. From Batman. Yeah. Hi, Deborah. How are you? Hope you're well. Deborah for some yes. for some time taught guy classes on our multi needle machines in the battery. Oh, store, very so. cool. Thank very you for cool. watching. Guide teacher to guide teacher. Yeah. So the other um, couple ways you can do your fabric. I should have. Uh, I didn't think about this until like later, like now, <laughs> that I could have done two different pieces of fabric. This was one piece of fabric that I just cut, and they were. It was already treated with some stabilizer, some liquid stabilizer. But I went ahead and put a little bit more. So this side 
was uh, sprayed with Tyrael magic. I I think of Tyrael magic as the um, the um, um, starch on steroids. That's what oh, Tyrael magic is. is. It really it is. is. And w- and so I when think you, it's essential ahead. if you have a scanning cut to get a bottle of uh, Tyrael magic. Absolutely, sure. Tyrael magic is your friend. Mm-hmm. Uh, so it makes it really since, stiff. Okay. And so, so like, if you're not doing applique with, like, a heat and bond, that would be really nice Correct. to stabilize the fabric and then not have anything paper or, you know, bulky. Exactly. You know, as a matter of fact, you know, the Kimberbell um, projects, um, most of them come with an SVG file, which is a scalable vector graphic that you can actually put in your scanning cut to cut your applique. So... A lot of times I was doing the Tyrael magic and doing it that way, swiping the back of it with some, uh, with a, my little glue stick and just put it right in the placement line. Perfect. It's perfect for that. So I sprayed this one earlier. So it's nice. See, it's not flat and you see how it's not laying down. So once it's dried, I will take that hot iron and press that down. It'll still curl and we have tricks for that too. Yeah. And everybody... But that man. iron is the Oliso Mini, and it is in stock and shipping from allbrands.com. And I do see that woolly mat that you're ironing yeah. on. That's also available yeah. on the website right now for shipping. Ooh, I'm going to have to that. I want, the I want a bigger one. I love it. I'm a big <laughs> fan right now. And then, you know, I, I, got, I had some uh, leftover ironing board fabric, so I put it under there because it's plastic under here. <laughs> I like so the idea of having that does. portable table too, because you can kind of move it around wherever you need it. If you're this is awesome. Cheap. Yeah, this is just a, a computer, a little computer uh, tea tray, I guess, mm-hmm. um, that I was I was able to buy on. Um, uh, I think Walmart. Walmart has them. I've got three, so they're <laughs> everywhere. <laughs> but That's here's cool. that here's that piece of fabric, and it's just it's nice and stiff compared to. Where's my other fabric? Compared to this piece of fabric, see how it just kind of hangs there? This oh, one is yeah. not going to hang. It's a lot more stiff than this one. So that's that one. The Eileen says, uh, Eileen Mullen says, love Terriel Magic. Awesome for cutting oh, quilt awesome. triangles. Yes. 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 Anything It'll quilting because us. you don't fuse it behind. So the Terriel Magic is Correct. perfect. Yeah. Yes. Yeah, it's it's really it'll help with that bias on those on your triangles if you're cutting triangles that way. Mm-hmm. The other stabilizer, uh, fabric stabilizer uh, spray is fabric stabilized Sullivan fabric stabilizers. I know the San Antonio yes. store has this. Um, yes, and, and it's it on our website too. Yeah. All oh, perfect. Stuff. It was mm-hmm. it was recommended to me by Cindy Hogan. She thought this was a really great product, and it's and it's it really is. I have two bottles of it. <laughs> and it works the same way. <laughs> and you just, you know, spray it down. Do you have a preference just, for one over the other, or are they just different? Um, I, if I am going to use it in a quilt, I'm going to use this one. If oh, okay. I need something that is uh, um, more, that has a lot of cuts in it, I think, like a, like a snowflake or something, I will use this one to death. Because okay. I need that really really stiff and i don't want any because of the intricate cuts in it it will it'll serve me better that's just my yeah. opinion on, on what and I've i done. think too it's important okay. when you're cutting fabric to think about things like that because you might want more drape in your quilt or correct more stiffness correct. in your quilt so the terial magic's a correct. little bit stiffer which can be a right. pro or a con for quilting depending on your yes. application yes so those are the two um fabric stabilizers that i will use a lot and then the last one will be your using your um heat and bond light they have a heat and bond stretch and i have a little bit and i haven't tried it yet and i am actually a little surprised sometimes when i do classes uh and like kimber bell and says hey i'll cut your fabric for you uh let's do the heat and bond this time and how many of us did not know how to use it. Do you, and uh, so I have to when, show you something. Oh. oh, keep going. I'm just going to get something. Oh, sorry. Because um, oh. 
going through my stash. Because just a piece those paper. applique scissors that you have to use to cut out every little piece after your tack down stitch. <laughs> Uh -huh. You know, they're really yep. great, but I mean, these are the ones that I use for manual applique. Like, oh, it's a mess in here. Like a double curve <laughs> applique. Oh, You're probably very familiar uh -huh. with these. It's a double yes, curve because it's scissors? curved here on the blade and it's curved uh -huh. on here so you can get like into the stuff. But why go through all that when you could just cut it automatically Correct. on a canning cut? I, I'm pretty much, I'm pretty sure that 95% of people buying scanning cuts are to cut fabric. It's, yeah. They're not cutting much anything else. They're cutting fabric. I know yeah. one person who does not cut fabric. One, everyone else is cutting fabric. Well, I so, can tell you that Bond, my there's a shiny kind of. Oh, I'm sorry. Uh, you know my sister, yeah, Courtney. Like Courtney. She, does a lot of stuff. Yeah. She does a lot she of does vinyl. She beautiful stuff. Mm -hmm. She did yeah. some like layering a lot of vinyl. vinyl. And it says officially three. And it had like a, a fishing pole oh. with a little buoy. And it was like the red on the bottom and then the white on the top. And it was so cute. That's that awesome. Show. Yeah. That's fantastic. I love it. Yeah, vinyl is, is my, my go-to for a lot of things. So, yeah, we could probably do a Facebook Live on, on just vinyl. <laughs> so it'll be fantastic. Oh, I so, need to find that. That cup would be neat, wouldn't it? Yeah. Yeah, that's right. I did make you, you a remember cup. that? Okay. Yeah, I I'm do. <laughs> so I've got um, the heat and bond, and there's a paper side and a kind of a grid. It's not sticky, but, uh, and it's not like steam machine, which is, you know, kind of has a sticky side to it, which is kind of awesome. Um, I just put it down on my fabric and I always cut it a little shorter than what I need. And then I just hold it and press it down. The trick to this, especially if you're gonna use it on the cutter, is making sure that this is well applied to your fabric because you do not want it coming off. That uh, when Cindy and I do the quilt show, we, um, we we look at that, all the pieces that have heat and bond on there, and we make sure that stuff is on there. If, if not, it's going on the heat press, and it's uh, getting a little shot of, uh, of heat to give it another once over, and that will be good. The other trick to it, besides to stick into your iron, is that I let it cool for a while. I don't just rush and take that paper off. I give it time to just kind of cool down so you can put it on a surface that's not heat and cool it down that way. So now it's cooled down. Uh, okay. If you can cut this a couple of ways. Oh, are you, am I not connected? Oh, yeah, you are. Um, we have a okay. question. Okay. Does the heat sure. on cut all right in the scan and cut, or do you need to make your blade deeper from candy? Well, it depends on um, which model you have. If you have uh, models to the DX, then probably you have to fit with, with the blade deck. With the DX, I have not done anything with yeah. it. In fact, we'll cut a couple of pieces from there. Yeah, so on, so that's a good you, question. Once you, because that it really, it's a fantastic auto question. Mm -hmm. It does. It is an auto blade. Now I have found that um, it's. Uh, you might have to. You know, that's my. Um, what am I call it my uh, tripod, making that noise. You might have to change it depending on your fabric. You might have to change what you do with that. Uh, so on the little garden flag, everything that was cut was cut once. And just on um, with uh, with the auto blade with the uh, yeah. uh, the tan blade. So I have perfect. the other kind so. of blade. Do you? So we can show them the difference. Yeah. If that's sure. okay. Do I I'm have so, one? I'm I'm so all over the place, Rosemary. Oh, that's okay. <laughs> Let me see if I have it in here. I have one right here. Um, oh, do you? I okay, have, good. Because I, I think I've taken both models of Scan and Cut. So um, this is. I the, did too. This is the blade. 
for the non yeah. DX models. So if it has the letter Correct. D as in direct, I don't know, X as an X ray, uh, then you'll get an automatic blade, which is the new and improved. You don't have to set your blade depth, but the models Correct. core, like the 650 WX and all that, you have to adjust it here. Correct. And y'all, I've cut through so many mats. I'm not gonna lie, because it's I, happened. Believe it or not, I, I think everybody has. <laughs> Even the the experts have have done it too. Uh, if like, you've if you've watched any Julie Face on uh, Balzer's videos, there's one video she did, and I I I'm, I audibly gasped because she turned it over for some reason, and there's a big old. <sighs> Everybody's been uh, watch of uh, duct tape. I uh, go, she got to do. She do it just <laughs> like us. So I'm not the only one. <laughs> We're like, yes. <laughs> I went in the retail store, Rosemary, and I was like, so like, I'm gonna work on this. I'm gonna just, oh uh, no, no, uh, no, no. I'm not gonna read the instruction manual. And then like, I'm like, let me write my name on this map. <laughs> And it was so new. Oh, we didn't gosh. have any more mats yet because we just got the scan and cut. And we were waiting on Ash to have mats. So they had to use this mat. And they were like, why is there a hole in the shape of the name Barbara? On it? Oh, that's oh, that's like, and you can't get away from that. It's like, because I didn't read the manual. But the new models are Barbara proof for sure. <laughs> I think there are a lot of everybody proof for sure. So. <laughs> All right. So do y'all want to cut something? You want to cut it out? Oh, we have yeah, a let's question. Cut something out. This is a question. long one. So let's see. Fred. Oh, Fred and Connie, thanks for watching again. Y'all should be top fans at this point. I would love to know how you can tell what type of vinyl you have by looking at it. I have a bunch of pieces that are mixed Great. with others. Some I can't tell what type it is. I wish there would put a symbol on the back of the back vinyl <laughs> to tell what type it is. And that's a good question because right. I'm like oh, that is a great question. All right, hold on. Let me get Except my Except sometimes you're getting about you everything. From, <laughs> when you buy it from all brands, the the uh, the barcode is on it and I just look up the barcode. <laughs> but not everybody can oh. <laughs> Oh, oh darn! There's so many different kind of vinyls. There's there iron, is so many. There's different thicknesses too of vinyl. Like there are glitter, there glitter are. vinyl, there's and glitter. you can use that with embroidery You're too. All... Like there's <gasps> certain sewing vinyls. Oh Looks my god! So you awesome. can use it for embroidery. Ask my Kimberbell people because <laughs> we love sewing yeah. applique with vinyl and it looks glitter cool. vinyl you oh just my gosh it's still it's fabric beautiful. you just treat it like <sighs> fabric right correct yeah. oh it cuts like a dream uh it's really fantastic so this is heat transfer vinyl that is so cute heat transfer this is a yellow is that this is it's a oh, this is does a really that have fleck yellow, in it? it's a kind of little goldish it, no it's i don't know what it is I have I to like look this glitter. up. <laughs> I don't know why I have it, but it's really pretty. <laughs> so how can you tell uh, this is just regular heat transfer vinyl? When you look at the back, it's this one is white, but if, if you feel all of it, it feels kind of plasticky because there's that plastic mylar uh, carrier that is not cut. Everything is cut on the back using um, the uh, half cut feature on the DX. Uh, on the 650 and and below, you have to uh, ratchet that way down to perform a kiss cut, so it doesn't go through that plastic carrier. So, so is that another one. word for uh, half I have cut? All... Yes, that... that would be okay. a word for half cut. I like that. Cut. Kiss cut. The kiss. Cut. Yes. That sounds cool. Kiss <laughs> it just kisses that part of it. Oh, I love this it. This is glitter vinyl. That's my That's favorite. the glitter vinyl. It looks That's fantastic. So it's beautiful. And this is the back of it. This is what is cut. Uh, that shiny uh, part of it is, again, that mylar feature for that. Yeah. Um, and uh, anytime you're doing uh, this kind of heat transfer vinyl, you are cutting it in a mirror image or cutting it, you're flipping it uh, backwards. Because when you read it and you're looking at the glittery side of it, 
if it is backwards, you did it wrong. Ah. <laughs> Ask me how I know. Yeah, so, so, <laughs> so do you basically always looking... cut vinyl adhesive side up or back side you up? Cut... Yes, okay. correct. You, you cut, um, you cut uh, heat transfer vinyl um, the wrong side up, okay? That's the flat looking side of it, not the yes. shine side of it, okay? Now, I don't have any heat transfer, I mean, um, uh, what do you call it? The decal vinyl. Decal vinyl has a paper backing. That's how you can tell the difference between a heat transfer vinyl, your glitter vinyl, and your decal vinyl, or what they might call sticker vinyl. It has a paper backing. And you're actually going to cut on the top of the vinyl. You're not going to cut the paper side. You're going to cut the top of the vinyl and you'll cut it in the positive. So if you're cutting your, your name Barbara, it's going to look like Barbara on that vinyl. If you're cutting Barbara on any of these, it's going to look backward to you as you just cut it. Yeah. Very so important. Basically, though, when in doubt, just do a test cut. <laughs> and Absolutely. on the edge oh, of yeah. the vinyl. <laughs> That's what I do because and, I'm and so dyslexic. Like I'm like, which way is up and down and right and left? I don't even know. Oh yeah, yeah. And you know, if you're working in Canvas workspace, there's really not a reminder to do it. Uh, the reason I end up not flipping it if I'm doing it in Canvas workspace, so I have, like I said, I have a lot of software, and the software I normally use for doing production runs of uh, of vinyl um, uh, designs, uh, the that software does it for me. So mm -hmm. it's, it's separated by colors and it flips it for me. Like, oh, I don't even have to think about it. So I do have to think about it if I'm doing something in Canvas Workspace or uh, Shortcuts a lot or something like that. Uh, I really have to think about it. Yeah. <laughs> so, so I Canvas, have ruined some things. Yeah, so Canvas Workspace is the free program. It's not required to use with the Scan and Cut, but right. it's like a helpful assistant from Brother that allows it, you to design and create uh, your cut files on your computer, and then you can wirelessly yeah. transfer it to your DX model of scan and cut. Yes, yes it's you great. can. And it's your uh, 650. Out. Oh, again, 95% of what I do is on the scan and cut. So, yeah. even though I told you that this garden flag can be done on the um, on the scanning cut because I did go ahead and run through it. No, I did it on Canvas Workspace. Uh, the only thing now the difference with with what the design on the machine and the designs in Canvas Workspace are different because it is a free program. You know, I, I doubt that Brother's going to lend you. You know, let the all these designs that are on the machine for free. You can just set up an account. So all the little flowers here. Oh this way the flowers are actually in the machine so oh, they're okay. designs that are in the machine these are two um from um like because it has a snowflake on there the tulip is from the um applique quilting portion uh category on that so all i did was bring all these in to canvas workspace and i worked with them in there but can I do it on the machine? Absolutely. You can do it all on the machine as well, too. So. Cool. I love that. Can you hear me? Yeah, I can hear you. I think I went okay. out for a little bit. <laughs> there. Um, but yeah, so uh, that's kind of the thing. If there's a design you want on can on um, in the machine, uh, like there's a, a sewing machine in, in the... Um, on the scan and cut, uh, you can either work with it on that very small screen, or you can send it wirelessly to Canvas Workspace and work it work on it on your computer and add text to it, add shapes. It All just the, the possibilities are endless. Yeah, and you can really do everything directly from the machine, but the screen is much bigger on your. There's computer. a lot you can do, and they have tons yes. and tons of more designs and full project written out tutorials on there oh, which, are, yeah. which are just so Those inspiring projects. so yes. I didn't, yeah I didn't so think I was like I was like I don't I need all that I'm just going to use my scan and cut so I did that for a while 
But then when I opened the door <laughs> to Canvas Workspace, it was like a mm -hmm. new world of creativity. And I was like, yay, there's no Absolutely. stopping me now. It is, it is so <laughs> neat. Yeah. It's so, so neat. Yeah. So yeah. if you're just starting out and you just want to, you're afraid, everybody's afraid to cut uh, on this. So if you're afraid, you know, do one of the projects that uh, don't require any additional, um, um, uh, like foil or anything, just something that you can just cut. So it's really fantastic. Connie, I hope that answered your question for you oh, uh, yeah. on that one. I have yeah. a, I have <laughs> a whole <laughs> bin of scraps. Yeah, I always go down so. little rabbit holes, so I hope y'all don't mind. <laughs> uh, <laughs> oh, God. These are great questions, Barbara. They're the same yeah. questions that everybody asks. So that's just a, it's, yeah. I'm sure everybody went, oh, yeah, yeah. I, now I know what to do with that. So. Yeah. All right. Cool. So, so we're going to cut Why don't we out. cut the fabric huh? that we prepped? Yeah. Okay. So I'm going to put you let full us screen. go to the mat. All right. And I'm going to show you the mats that we're using here so here's that high tech fabric support sheet how do i know because it says high tech fabric support sheet that i wrote on there on magic marker and i'm going to take the fabric that's all floppy doesn't anything on there and i'm just going to put it up here i'm going to take my brayer i need to get one and of bra those. And yeah these are pretty neat uh i didn't think i would need it um but it's pretty nice some ladies have um like gone to home depot and have gotten some other type of tools like wallpaper um rollers that works as well um here is the material uh actually this might be the sullivan spray stabilizer i'll put that one there and we'll do a couple of things there Catherine says she loves your and star then, rosemary <laughs> that was from um, Figo Fabrics. Um, I saw them at at, uh, at QuiltCon, and they gave me a free charm, a mini charm pack, and uh, I just had to like go to the website and get a pattern, and it was awesome. So I love it. Oh, oh, and kind of one of the things I've done of, while we've been on quarantine. I um, have become a um, Sulky um, certified online instructor, Wonderful. which is kind of cool. So can yeah. we recap what's on the mat? So the 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 piece, yes. the gold is nothing on it, just the high tech. Nothing on there. On the mat. These two have, this one is probably the Tura Magic one. This one is the Sullivan uh, Spray oh. Stabilizer. And these are on there pretty good. They're not I feel really, like this they're is not the going to go. I feel like this is like battle of the products. Which one's going to do the best cut? <laughs> <laughs> it all depends on what you want to do. Now, yeah, that's the, one of the biggest questions I get asked when I'm using a uh, heat and bond is, do I put uh, a paper side down or fabric side down? Whichever, whatever floats your boat. Um, you know, I I usually do the paper side down. Really, when I, do it. I do the opposite. Yeah. So I do See, it, it, I do it paper side well, up here, and then we'll I reverse my pattern because I feel like the Correct. way the blade goes on the fabric, it creates less pull. That's why I do that. But there's yeah. no right or wrong. There, there, there really isn't. It all depends on what is working for you. Yeah. Uh, all right. Let me, I need. Now, the one of the big differences I do on um, when I am using uh, heat and bond, or say if I'm going to put, say I don't want to use my high tax support sheet, and I'm going to put one of the treated pieces on just the regular mat, I will use fabric, medical um, paper tape to hold it down. Okay, that's smart. Why? It's like Cindy, Cindy came out with the, it's like a little insurance policy. Oh, yeah. <laughs> I can get this open. Oh God! <laughs> Where's uh, well, you know the glasses will hurt. I always have trouble hurt, finding the end of the piece of tape. It's such a struggle for there me. It is. <laughs> yeah, and, and this one's been a bag, so it's uh, it's linty. <laughs> the bag that everything gets kept in is a uh, has fleece on the inside, so it's a uh, it's all. While you're place. doing that, have you mm -hmm. ever flown a plane before? Have I did what? 
Did you fly a plane when you were in the Air Force? <laughs> you know how many times we get asked that question? Really? Oh, I'm sorry. Yeah. I, go, oh, I was like, just wondering. Part? I was like, like, like she's... Okay. No, I uh, play clarinet. That's what I do. Okay. <laughs> I play clarinet and saxophone in the Air Force. Because I was like, if you could figure singing. out how to how to fly an airplane this santa cut should be a breeze because <laughs> that looks so complicated oh, God. Uh, so we did a, a whole lot of other things too um you know we had to take care of our own uh, uh squadron so uh we had additional jobs so i was anywhere from supply clerk to travel pay clerk uh resource advisor operation. you know what i also saw I saw whenever I was trying to find a picture of you to put on this post, I saw a picture of you singing. Yes, I did. Oh. I did. We should sing sometime together because I love to <laughs> sing. Oh, I'd have to practice. <laughs> bring out my ukulele that we can do something together. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Here is my fabric. So let's flip you around and I'll take you to the Santa Cut. And... We'll do some things. We'll cut the, she goes to sleep. Yeah, I always press the uh, the home button on accident instead of the. <laughs> yeah. So one of the biggest complaints is when this first came out was about loading the mat. Mm -hmm. With prior models, um, we would hold it back here and hit the button and it would go out. So we were doing the same thing this was not going well so we have learned that, that once it goes into this channel right here there's these two little channels they go into that and you should be good to go i hold my hand in the middle and I button yeah so and voila yeah i move my hand just just in time and it'll go mm -hmm. in all right we're going to do a couple of things we're just going to cut a simple uh, we'll do a little flower, or why not? Out so a little of, flower. Oh, here's a star. Here, I'll make you full screen. So it's going to come in a certain size. We can set it, there's a, and then there's we a can bit of glare. make it smaller. I'll hit edit twice, and hit the size button, and hey, reduce Rosemary? it. It's a five-inch square that I have. I don't think she but, can. Uh, it's all right. Hey, Rosemary, there's a little bit of glare on the there. screen. Now, how do I know that it's in the right area? So all the patterns are coming in. Let me see if I can, there we go. I don't know if we'll be able to see all that well with that. All the patterns are coming in at the upper uh, left-hand side. But hey, Rosemary. say you put your fabric wherever, and this is the beauty of this machine, is I can hit the scan button, which is right there, and press start and it's going to scan what's on my mat. Hey, Rosemary. Okay, so she's scanning the mat. She just basically, what she did is just pull in a pre-design uh, that's already cut in the machine and, uh, and just set. You're right, I don't know what it was. We had a great test yesterday with what was seeing what was on our <laughs> I mat. I think it's the Bluetooth headphones. On our mat. But um if you remove the bluetooth the the sound was just fine without it oh okay yeah I'll plug it yeah i think the sound is a little bit better what do y'all think perfect yeah can you hear me oh yeah perfect awesome. we can hear you awesome. so can you move the the screen just a little bit closer because there's a little bit of glare on my yes. end yes y'all <laughs> i gotta tell you i was i had the worst day today i've like before this video, I was oh, running perfect. around my house for 30 minutes trying to find my glasses and I still can't find them. And I know as soon as this video is over, I'm going to walk down the hall and they're going to be <laughs> sitting there on the table. But I, uh, yeah, I can't see very well. So, okay. <laughs> okay. Well, that's better. much, that's much yeah. better. I'll make you much. full screen now. So here is, oops, there we go. So here's our star and we're got lucky because that's where that fabric is. So I can actually, if I wanted to put it on this fabric, I could put it on that fabric. We'll keep it on this fabric here. And I'll say, okay. And I'm gonna select to cut 
and this is important if you have this model or the 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 230 you got to pay attention to what's going on here especially half cut half cut should be off because i want to go through that fabric okay if uh say if i was cutting vinyl beforehand uh that could be on and i have gone through here and try to cut uh fabric and yeah it was it was a big hot mess i was like why isn't it cutting i just put a new blade and it wasn't it wasn't good so let's test it so i'm going to hit test and it's going to give me a little triangle these are always the hardest to move so i'm going to hit the move button and perfect i've got my uh my tan blade in and i'm going to cut rosemary before you press yes. cut you know uh -huh. what i learned with the brother educator showed me in the last video the zoom uh -huh. function on the screen is so cool because you can see you really close by like oh, hitting, yeah. I, and you can do it in the move or the wrench so like the little crosshairs yep, that little right there that thing is awesome that thing yes. i was like wait that's a game changer because you know i can't yes. see anything <laughs> so yeah i really that appreciated cool. that thanks brother oh absolutely i i love that <laughs> i love that too and i'll say okay again and i'll press start and it's going since i have that highlighted that test cut it's going to start there for all my tools it's going to do a little dance and that little dance is how the auto blade measures the Correct. mat and then it measures the fabric on the mat and it knows exactly correct. the correct blade depth and i've never had to change my depth in the machine because yeah. it's perfect every time i love that so I, can, I see right here that this is my cut and it cut out perfectly so you now. do test cuts you're good she's I the do. teacher <laughs> i never I do. do the test cuts. like you know it was funny when i was doing um, the garden flag I just hit go and I just didn't. <laughs> I trust, crazy. I trust my I was like, oh, I'm just going to do it. But, uh, <laughs> you teach, and if I'm, I'm a lot of times if I'm doing a fabric, I'm not familiar with, um, I will go ahead and test cut since yeah. this fabric has nothing on there. I was like, yeah, we're going to do a little test cut because it, uh, it doesn't look great. So if it, if it did not cut, if there was, it was still hanging on, um, uh, I would test again. And that's what it'll it'll uh, say on the on the screen. Do we want to test again? We would test again, and it would just move the test cut and do it again. This was fine, so I can just hit start, and it's going to do my little start. It's so quiet. It is so quiet. All right, so. That fabric didn't move when it was cutting, which is really amazing. That's so much faster than than cutting out with applique scissors. Yes. And more precise. Yes. And as, I don't know if you can check out. Uh, That's not bed. bad, actually. That's not bad at all. But you can see that there is some fray. It's a little frayed, yeah. Around. So that's actually okay with that yeah there you go i'm i'm pretty impressed that with nothing on it it does it like that but oh, you yeah. definitely make sure that you have the high-tech fabric support sheet already on your mat yeah that's you do really fabric. the only way it's the only way it'll you'll have really good success and and that's the most important thing is that you want to be successful yeah all right we'll cut a couple of other things here i'm going to go home and get rid of that and the scanning feature to this. So we just did a pattern, but now I'm going to scan to cut directly on my mat. So the fabric I have for both of these are these little fishes on here. So I can actually cut one of the fishes on here. So I'm going to direct cut. Let's see if I can move you a little closer. I'm trying to get the not get the glare there we go 
I'm going to select the device. I'm just going to do it on my machine, or you can send it to Canvas Workspace and start. I'm going to leave it on the color mode because I'm working on some color here. And my scatter level. Everybody asks me, hey, how come it tells me uh, there's a scanner level two? There are two scanning positions, scanner uh, one and two. Two is for this thicker uh, type of uh, substrate that you're going to cut on here. So if you're doing cork or leather or even balsa wood, you want to make sure you're on two. I'm going to uh, switch it to one and I'll start because this all this is very thin. And it's going to scan what is on the mat. Okay, that's new for me. I actually haven't done direct cut before. Really? But oh that's pretty cool. Then I'm going to try that. Leap at Quilt Show. That is all we're doing is direct cutting. <laughs> so are you able to, am I zooming in? Can you see that or no? Uh, we can see the screen. I can definitely see the pattern uh, on okay. the mat. So we get to this image here and say I want to do this little fish on here. Okay. So I can marquee select this fish, right? Yeah. It's going to grab a whole bunch of stuff, but that's all right. And I'll say, okay. Okay. We have a question while we're waiting for it to recognize. Uh, Marcia says whenever she has the sticky web on the back of the fabric, it'll not cut. So I think the answer to that would be make sure that you have the high tack fabric support sheet on your low tack mat. Is she, she's probably using steam seam too, which mm -hmm. is a little thicker on, on that. So that, that plays in quite a bit. I yeah. have not had it. Cindy, every time that question is asked at Quilt Show, um, Cindy's like going, yeah, don't don't use it. It's not that we don't like the product because I use it on other things, mm -hmm. but cutting it on this, it seems to be a little bit more problematic. Is that for uh, applique? For applique, yes. Okay, so, so with, with the machine, you do get the brother applique sheets in there correct. and that works with perfectly. The, it works really well. It's it's very equivalent to kind of like uh, the heat and bond light. It's uh, yeah, that it's, works. That also works really well too. Yes, that's okay. a real thin. Uh, uh, Thank you. Table yeah. Uh, all right. I don't know how close much closer can I get to here. So it's hard to see, but it's the little fish has got. I have that, and I've got these little bubbles around them. I don't want the bubbles. So I can hit ignore object size and I can start increasing the size until those bubbles go away. And they're gone. Because once I hit OK and hit OK again, I should just have the fish right here. So the That's fish is just really there. neat. I can cut I right that. around just to give you a point of reference what we are cutting. We're cutting this fish right here. So yeah. a couple so of things we can Is that the one with the terial magic? Yes. Is what Marion asked. Okay, Correct. so the top right is terial magic. The bottom left is Sullivan's stabilizing spray. spray. Stabilizing and spray. Terial magic. Okay. So right now we're cutting right on that little fish, which is great. That is fact, so cute. Why... I love and it. So I can actually, there's a function on the machine right now that I can actually offset it. So I can go out a little bit and it'll give me like a little boundary and you'll see a little bit of the white on there. But this one, we're just going to cut as is. We'll cut the other one uh, with, the, um, uh, with the offset. And on the machine, that button is right there. That's your offset machine. And we'll do that in a minute. I'm going to say, okay, and select to cut i'm gonna live dangerously and just press start <laughs> why not oh, man i can't sing so some songs because of copyright but <laughs> living on the edge you know <laughs> oh yeah <laughs> oh gosh that is so cute oh. okay, we're going to the grocery store we're living on the edge as it is so there you go all right and we are done 
with our little fish. Let me go down here. That is really cute. And I'm just going to pull away. Imagine making a little sea scene with that. Yeah. That would be so cute. Oh, watch it not cut. It did. Oh, thank God. <laughs> I was like, oh, epic fail. Oh, no, I never. I have never had a problem with Scan and Cut. I love my Scan and Cut. There you go. Well, my new one here. There it is right there. Isn't that cute? Cut right on. So that's one way of doing it. Let's do another. Let's do another one to where we're going to scan to cut data on the machine. And we'll do uh, the solvent uh, stabilizing spray on that one. Okay. There's a little bit of a glare on the screen. Again. Yeah. Sorry. I know. I feel like sometimes whenever I have to move these cameras around. Yeah. And I've turned off like all but the main light in here. <laughs> do the all demonstration right. with like the camera here, my face here, and then the scanner oh, here. And I'm like, I feel like I'm breathing I'm down their neck right now. It's but you know, true. sometimes we just got to do what we got to do for live, huh? <laughs> yes. So this time I'm going to do this little orange one right here. And for reference, it is on the mat, this guy right oh, there. Oh, that is super cute. Yeah. So this one's going to be the different fabric. And again, I'm going to move my mark. I'm going to marquee select what I want. Perfect. And say, okay. It'll think about it. And you can barely see it, but there is, it's, uh, it's got the little fish and it's got a couple of bubbles. So again, I'm going to ignore object size and increase. It doesn't matter which one you press and those little bubbles are going to go away. They're done. Okay. They also have a little smoothening button. And what the smoothing does is, so if you have something that's kind of jagged, uh, it'll uh, it'll smooth over that path. So it's not something I use a lot, but it's uh, I'm glad it's there in case I have to uh, cut something intricate and I really don't want it to be, um, you know, that jagged looking. That's good to know. Yeah, it's pretty neat. Now, I since we cut right directly on the other fish, let's do the offset on this one. So that's that one. And the outline distance, we can increase. And if you pay attention, let me go back. I don't know if you can see the little the little fish will start to increase its boundary and start getting bigger and bigger. So I'm just so going to do one and do a point. What application would you use that for to make it larger? Like if you have a lo large satin stitch? Around, yeah, or? absolutely. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yeah, you can use that. Um, for that. It's not going to work all that well for lettering. So if you're cutting out a letter that, you know, you're, um, that you've done on software and you sent it to your scan and cut, be, especially like a B, anything that has a hole in the middle will be problematic with uh, uh, increasing that offset. It's only increasing the offset on the outside or the whole thing is getting increased. So that means the holes in the middle are increasing as well. And they're not, and they're increasing to the outside, not the inside. So where you can catch that. So that's kind of a, a little bit of a buggery boo. All right. So I'm say, okay. The other type of offset you can do is um, different shapes. Right now we're in free form, but if I wanted to do a circle, I can do a circle. If you're into uh -huh. paper piecing, I can do a hexagon. That way I can uh, fussy cut that little uh, that little guy there for for that reason. I and love cool. that. Isn't that cool? That's I'm really fussy cool. cutting from now on on my scan and cut. Oh, I absolutely it's, love that. It's the best thing ever. I'm just gonna cool. go back to freeform, say okay, and say okay again, and cut. Hi, Vicky. Thanks for watching. And start. Oh and we're looking at this little fish right here that's going to get cut out. 
So when it finishes, it'll have a little white outline around it. That is so fast. It is very, very fast. All right. Okay. Here it is. This mat is so super sticky. <laughs> uh, did I show you my cup today? Tuesday is for oh. tackle sti sticky exactly. situations. Perfect. <laughs> I was like, that's so funny. That. And there is, see that white outline around the around the orange fish? I as can opposed see, to yeah. Deborah saying that she had no idea that, it could do that. Yeah, Deborah. It's amazing. So that's it's the been, direct cut function of the scanning. Correct. Function. That's a direct cut function. So many but things. But say if I wanted to do this fish shape, um, but cut it out of something, a different fabric, I would use the scan to cut data function to create yeah. a function on that. So how flimsy, because the blue fish was cut out with Terial Magic Correct. and the other fish was cut out with Sullivan's. Can we see like the pliability of the two to kind of see, is, are they very similar because they're small? They're very, very simple. Actually, excuse me, the Terial Magic is um uh, has a little bit more texture to it i feel like it's um uh, a little stiffer than this one this one has a little bit more drape i'm able to manipulate yeah. i mean both are manipulated can i can manipulate but if but i they... this one it'll just it goes back to the shape it was yeah whereas if i this one it'll go back but so is slowly. there any fraying on the yellow fish nope. mm -hmm. on the edge it's perfectly nope. crisp Oh, okay, nice. Yeah, nope, it's fantastic. There's no fraying on either one. Okay, so I guess if you just wanted a little stiffer, use Terial Magic. If you wanted yep. a little more drapey, or use the Sullivan's. The Sullivan's uh, stabilizing spray. You could just add more. So. And what's the what's the model number of that Sullivan spray that you're using? Can we see it, that? It, I'll, show you. I'll try to include a link in the comments for everybody. Yeah. The fabric, fabric stabilizer. Oh, look. Because I got it all brands. Oh, so, thank you for uh, shopping with us, Rosemary. <laughs> 55627. Uh, okay, I'll look it up. I'll put the link in the comments. Yeah. So. Yeah. Fabulous. I'll put you on full Sorry. screen when I'm looking that up. So, the last piece of uh, the way we're going to cut fabric are is doing it with the um, heat and bond white on the back. So let's go back this way and put it in. And actually, I'm not going to monkey with this too much. I'll put this in and I'll show you the file that we were working with on this. So that home sweet home file, I'm going to retreat because I have it on my machine, retreat data on my machine. Perfect. And I know it's the very last one I did. And there it is. But Rosemary, we just want the flowers. Yes, you are correct. We just want the flowers. Hold on a second. Let me move this over. Because perhaps if I move this in, we're able to see a little better. Deborah asks, she said she needs some of that. Or that are we open yet? So I did post the uh, the um, Sullivan's. That's available if you buy it in bulk on our website. The price per bottle is a little cheaper. But the answer, uh, Deborah, is yes, we're going to be uh, fully um, opening our stores to walk in traffic this week. So um, before some stores were doing curbside pickup, um, but we're starting, uh, everyone that comes in is required to wear um, a face mask, um, but just definitely call the store to make sure they have it in stock before you come in, or you could definitely get it online. And um, yeah, if you buy it in bulk, you, you save per bottle on that Sullivan's. So six bottles at a time, that'll be a lifetime supply. <laughs> so. <laughs> 
Unless you're doing a lot of applique. I right. I could probably yeah uh, use up six I bottles real a quick. Lot, believe it or not. <laughs> So I don't want all this. This is a lot. I'm going to hit edit and I have a little trash can right here. So I can just start picking things and making them disappear. This is how I do a lot of things. If I, um, cause I don't need, I don't need the stem. I've done those. Oh, I need that one. So I'm going to select another one. I need that trash can. Oh, need that trash can. Need that. Don't need that. It, and as I'm deleting things, you can see that these are all elements or shapes that were in the uh, uh, in the scanning kit. Now, what was not in there was the house. The house was actually two shapes: a square uh, or a rectangle and a triangle. I sized them differently. And then I used the weld button, which is under um, the edit, and it's this kind of cone circle with a cone shape. So if I select two, uh, overlap two shapes, and um, and select them both, this will light up, and I can weld those together and create a new form. All right, I'm going to say okay, okay again, and I'm going to scan this in. because I just put those little pieces just on the mat. Now, remember we turned this yellow one, the one in the middle, we turned that uh, um, over so we can cut it that way. And so that's where we have that right now. So I can just drag these flowers up to each one. Can now, everybody see? Yeah. I just want to make sure that everyone can see. Um, and in the meantime, while I wait for you guys to answer, I did include the link. Um, if you haven't seen this model before, the one that we're using is the Scan and Cut SDX 225 machine. It is available temporarily for internet sales. Um, normally, you would have to go into your local dealer to purchase this, but because of what's going on, we're uh, brother uh, um, allowed us dealers to sell them online. So uh, we hope that if you do decide to make a purchase that you choose all brands um, uh, on that STX 225. And then later in this video, I'll show you my, uh, my Disney version of that machine. That's exciting. It's a really cool handy tool uh, here because when I scanned it, all this is kind of subdued colored wise. So if I go to the wrench or the little tool right here on the background tab, I can turn that background off right now. It's in the middle because it's subdued or I can turn it to full color and say, okay. And you can see how those blues that doesn't work so well for this, but it lit up this white one right here. If it was, if we showed the yellow one, we would still be subdued. But since this area is white and the mat is white, you really can't see it really well. So if I'm working with a white fabric or some kind of white vinyl or white paper uh, or a light color, I will turn that to the full color version that way I can put that in the right place. And then I'll go back and put it back on the opaque. And there you go. All right, let's say okay and select to cut. Why don't we test cut? In fact, let's test cut the, um, let's test cut the one on where the oh. fabric is down. Nellie, I'm sorry. I'm so ADD, <laughs> but Nellie is so sweet. She said that she purchased it on sale her local store awesome. is San Antonio, and they did curbside, and Tammy Perfect. is the best. And I agree. Tammy is we the love best. It. I miss her so much. She's so great. And Giselle's coming back. I heard. I know. We're so happy to have her, too. So Sorry to interrupt. I just had to give Tammy it. some props. Thank you, Zenny. I hope I pronounced that correctly. And Nellie. 
Okay, so Zenny, normally the Scan and Cut 225 at a dealer is $800. Um, our price is $599. You can finance that. It includes the six foot vinyl roll feeder and a project book. And if you're local, you get uh, in store instruction on that. And it comes with the uh, dealer warranty on that. So uh, you get a lot of extras. So I did not have good success with this cut. And this was just with the auto blade. So that is just part of it got cut, but not all of it got cut. So I would have to increase the pressure, which is something you can do. You can take it out of auto mode to do that. Uh, so that's the me, freezer paper one? No, this is the um, uh, fabric side down on the heat and bond. Heat and bond fabric side down. Correct. So okay. that did not work well for me. Can you so recap what, what the three different ones are? The three yes, different the stabilizations? On the two on the ends, uh, all three of them have heat and bond. Okay. All three of them. I, I just did, um, I did this one upside down where the fabric was, um, was um, shown. Um, that's what I do with um, it. I know that it works with the with the sheets that come in the box for brother oh, fabric side maybe down. That could be it. So, so maybe heat and bond is a a little heavier. But no wonder that. we found out why you like it fabric side up and I like it fabric side down. It's because we're why using a different <laughs> product on the back. We do. Okay, learning something so, new. Ah. Oh. Catherine go. says, I recently purchased one from all brands and they shipped it to me, but it's still in the box. Oh, Hopefully. I you know how I get that. I get Hopefully. that all the time. Hopefully this Facebook Live will give me the confidence to try it out. Catherine, there are so many videos. I hope that you watch some of our past videos and we'll definitely, um, if Rosemary will have us, be on more Facebook lives with us with the scan and cut because she is the guru. She does there it for a some, living. Yeah, I do. There's <laughs> some really great people that do fantastic content on the scan and cut. Uh, obviously, Julie Faye Van Balser for Brother. She's the Brother Ambassador. Oh, yes. Uh, but a couple of other people that I follow is Apple number 53. She's from Britain and she is really fantastic. Um, she does a lot of paper crafts, but I watch her because she is doing techniques, techniques I'm not doing or th techniques that I need to learn. And uh, so she's really fantastic. Uh, the gentleman crafter is also very good. Um, who else? Who's the lady there? that's been doing it um, because brother hacked their, uh, the educators hacked the Facebook page and uh, she did a few scan and cut videos um that were really good and uh oh um uh, becky thompson's good too she and Cor she does all all types of stuff but she has a very good uh youtube channel called power What's tools with power tools with thread oh becky yeah and then rosemary do you have any videos for upper 90 logos or you just do uh, that I for do. a business a whole lot uh, but here goes here's one flower right there oh, and look how thing. intricate and it's funny because this uh this flower in particular is um uh, is a two-parter so the center is actually another cut file so you can actually uh, move this out of the way and say you can put a yellow center in that and you can cut it out of a different fabric uh which is really cool so that's part of that uh and i'll show you where these are located the same thing with this, um, trying to do this with two, with one hand. The same thing with this flower has Look. a hole in the center. <laughs> Words That's of cool. wisdom from Cindy Richardson. Get it out of the box. They are not hard to use and everything that it cuts is awesome. <laughs> Thank you, Cindy. It I'm glad you're enjoying your scanning. Cut. Absolutely right. Awesome. Okay. So is there any other question? The other, the only other thing I'm going to, oh, well, I'll show you where on here, 
where I found those little flowers. So if I go home and delete them. So under the pattern and under the Eiffel Tower and the tree, the very first one is right there. There's that one, that rounded one, that rounded flower. So that's that one right there. That other one is, this is the stem I used right there. And, oh, where is it? Where'd it go? Oh my goodness. Oh, there it is, it's pink. So it's that one right there. So when I click on that, there are actually two parts to it. And, uh, and I actually use just this part. I use like the drawing function because it still has two parts in it and because I just wanted to cut it. So that was that part of it. All righty. Love it. So the only other thing is, that, or one of the bigger questions that I get as well is, how do I clean my mat? Well, there are a couple of ways to clean your mat. You can um, I use baby buy wipes. Baby wipes are fantastic. Anything that has uh, that does not have alcohol, no uh, alcohol, yeah, it's fantastic. No alcohol. Um, the other way we like to clean our mats because is Rosemary. totally awesome. I like the way you what? say alcohol. It's really cute. Oh, say it again. Uh, <laughs> alcohol. <laughs> alcohol. <laughs> I love it. It's, that just made my day. Thank you. It's so cute. I've never I heard it alcohol. said like that. Alcohol. <laughs> <laughs> no alcohol on your scan and crap mat, please. <laughs> yes. Prohibition. All right. Let's turn you around. Let me go over here to a, a queen. So on this mat, I don't know if you'll be able to see, there is a piece of paper on there. I could pick it out if I wanted to. And since I've been doing fabric, you get a lot of, you know, some of the threads and stuff. So this is what we do at Quilt, uh, at Quilt Fest throughout the day to clean our mat. A solution called Totally Awesome. And we do say it that way because it is totally awesome. You find it at the Dollar Tree and you squirt, squirt, squirt. You can leave it, especially it's like, where's that, uh, I'm going to spray it where that paper is. And I can let it sit for a little bit. I can take my uh, scraper and I can gently move everything around. Yeah. And that's the brother scraper tool. I'll put this a link. Of, yeah. I'll put a link for that in the comments. Yeah. If you can, I don't know if y'all still have that tool set with uh that has oh, just about everything yes. about prayer. That's awesome. Yes. That's Let me put that in the comments. Yes. I love if I didn't already have all those tools. So every time I teach this, I go, oh, well, what accessory should I should I get? Well, if you don't have because it comes with a little spatula, but mm -hmm. I don't like it. It's like worthless, I think. So the spatula the tool set is really fantastic. Mm -hmm. And it comes in a pair. So in that toolkit, you get that. You get a scraper. I think you get uh, uh, tweezers. That's the only thing I don't have because I have five million tweezers. Um, and another stylus, which is really handy because those things tend to go missing. Yeah. So we have a question. Yes. Why no alcohol? And I think the answer is because... Uh, when you have your high tech fabric support sheet on there, it will eat away at the adhesive on the mat, right. and you don't want to take away the stickiness of the mat. Right. So either with the high tech fabric support sheet on it for fabric, or even or without it, it 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 will remove all of the adhe adhesion. Adhesion? Is that a word? <laughs> okay. Yes, it will start slowly start to do that. So we get this question with with this product as well. As well, isn't that going to um, you know, delete or take away the stickiness and it goes, actually it brings it back. So once it's dried, it is really fantastic and totally awesome. It's still not, it's still kind of wet. Totally so awesome, right? Isn't up. that the name of it, right? It's totally awesome. <laughs> That's the name of it. <laughs> Find it at the Dollar Tree and it's the yellow bottle. 
because I yeah. do want to understand there's some other ones that are there too. Um, yep, I have one in the classroom. I have one here. Um, in fact, I had I bought an extra one and I started using it in the kitchen just to clean because it is a cleaner. Um, I think one of the somebody had mentioned they started looking at what it cleans and they goes, huh? The first thing it removes blood, and we all looked at each other like, well, I guess it, yeah. Um, so I went ahead and I included a link in the comments to the stickiness that you put on the mat to be able uh -huh. to cut fabric with, which is called the high tech fabric support sheet. High tech fabric support sheet. It is that. So that is a requirement. <laughs> you cannot cut fabric if you don't have that. So here is here's that one with the high tech fabric support sheet. Wow. Look at okay. that. Here's the <laughs> That's one. funny. That's a good here's way to know if you have it on. Here's the one without it. Okay. And I've just yeah. cleaned it. Okay. So it's it's pretty tacky, but definitely the one with the high uh, high tech fabric support sheet is going to um, take care of a lot. Belle, so thank you for watching. She fabric. says that she uses it on her embroidery hoops. I haven't tried that. I haven't either, and and that's a good thing I brought it up you here know. because I have uh, some gunky stuff on my hoops, and I am going to clean those as well. Thank you, yeah. Belle. Yeah, thanks, Belle, and thanks for watching again. She's one of our one of our top fans. <laughs> so now that you cut all of that out, what do you do to adhere it to the garden flag? Oh, or, yeah, our garden flag. I have two of them here. So if anybody wants to know the dimensions, I used burlap and uh, a different fabric. So I cut those at 18, based on the, the, uh, the sample I had, the blank that I had, um, I went ahead and cut it at 18.5 by 12.5. So it's 12.5, uh, it, it's gonna end up 12 inches wide um, by 18 inches. And I folded over, um, so I could run it through the um, the little rod that I have outside. So if you want to make it out of anything, you can don't you don't have to use burlap. You can do it out of any fabric uh, that you want, as long as it's not going to melt. And do you use any like um, what do they call that stuff that makes it wicking after you put it? Because since you're putting it outside, like a um, star, it's not starch. Oh gosh, the what? Starch guard. Scotch guard? Yeah, Scotch guard. Uh, Maybe? I, I have not. So oh, okay. I'm, I'm just going to put it out there. Okay. Now, I did do, because this will, it will hold with the adhesive, but on the, the sample that I did make, I don't know if you can, that is so I don't cute. know if I'll be able to show. It. I did do a little zigzag to hold everything in place, and I used that invisible thread uh, to do it. That way oh. I could just go, because I just started here. And just zigzag and didn't stop. Yeah. <laughs> stop but you know what you could do going. with because any embroidery can... machine with your, um, can you still hear me? Oh my goodness. Yes, I can hear you. Okay. Um, we're still in the show. I accidentally pressed the, uh, my computer on off switch, which is the host. So oh. <laughs> we're still live. <laughs> that would be bad. <laughs> okay. But I think we still are. Um, yes. I think so. I just lost, uh, totally yes. lost my train of thought. <laughs> um, the embroidery machine. Oh, so okay. So with like BES4, you can bring that in and then make it an applique, right? Yes. I'll do that. And I'll probably put in a, like a little, um, I'll make a little video on how I do and I'll post it because I was <laughs> like, oh, I said that. Uh, can it really do it? Because I don't do it. Um, <laughs> And it does. It's pretty amazing. But since this whole design is so big, it's not, you know, there's not going to be a hoop that's going to be able to support it. So what you can do is take bits and pieces. So you can bring the whole FCM file, which is what the scan and cut uh, uh, file is, and say you can bring in the house. Copy and paste it to another page in BES4. And, and I, I want to say you have, you must have to have one of the power packs. I'm not sure. I'll look into that. You can hit the create applique button and it will create the applique for the house. And if you want it one for the door, it'll do that too. I did one okay. for it.
in separate so we're pieces. We're still live. I just, <laughs> I got so excited. I started like my legs started going like this. Oh and my it God. went right on the on off switch on my computer and my computer shut all the way up. But everybody's yeah. still commenting, right? Can y'all still hear us? Okay, um, yeah. Yeah, we're still live. I'm, I have the computer it's on, so it's ready. still going. Oh my so I've twice seen, uh, the papers, you know, been removed from, from the back of all of them. And I'm just going to place them right there. And a lot of times I will use a, um, um, a non-stick sheet to put it down also. You don't have to, but uh, it's sometimes it's good practice. And I just hold it down. Um, someone asked Catherine Stanley says, can you also do it with simply applique? And that's a good question on Friday. I, I'm going to be doing a live with Becky. That would be a great thing to ask. Uh, I do not have simply applique. So yeah, uh, I'm getting one from the store this, uh, this evening, it's going to be coming to me. So I'm actually learning it tonight. Uh, but there okay. is a free trial software um, on our website. If you go to the Simply Applique page, you can oh. basically like um, use the software on your computer. You just can't write any embroidery files. So you can kind of see, you know, how huh. the program works. And then when you purchase the uh, actual software, you all you have to do is put your uh, serial code that's on the box in there. And then you can get the full software that allows you to actually make the embroidery files to go well i'll take a look at that and if it can read an fcm file then i would imagine that it will be able to do it so, so there you yeah. go i know so, b4 will be able to do it so nelly says that her friend uses it for the embroidery applique so i'm in very intrigued awesome that. awesome so there you go so that is how it is done so now we've cut fabrics different ways. Um, definitely a lot of uh, people will use, a lot of people use it when they're in their applique, they'll use heat and bond. So yeah, you can cut this all day. Every fabric day. side up <laughs> with heat and bond. If you use the brother one, you can do fabric side down, but oh my gosh. Thank yes, you. you can probably do that too. I'd have to go looking for that one. I have no idea where that is. <laughs> Rosemary, you are such a blessing. Oh, thank you. This was fun. Oh my gosh, thank you for inspiring me and everyone that's watching. Thank Good. you, everyone who's been commenting and and awesome. supporting people that maybe bought their scan a cup but are apprehensive about opening it. Absolutely. That's that's the main thing, folks. When you when you come by, I'll, I'll make a little bit of fun of you in class because you haven't taken it out of the box. Actually, that's going to be the first thing I'll say, because don't tell me you haven't taken it out of the box. I already know. <laughs> I already know. Oh, uh, God. So take it out of the box. What What's the worst thing that you can have that's going to happen? You cut through a mat. Guess what? We've all done it. <laughs> so, <laughs> but with the new yeah, one, I, I don't even think there's a way that you can. The DX models. Yeah. Yeah, you, you can if you change the setting. Uh, I, I, I didn't notice I was, oh, I was cutting something in repetitive uh, in the same place at the same for a, a certain amount of time. And I didn't notice a, a small slice in one of my low tech mats. You so, see Hi, Jenny. 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 Ah, You're so great. Oh, hey, Rose. Hey, do y'all have a time? Because I was going to, I mean, if you have a minute, I, yeah, I was just going to. Open my new, my open new it. toy. Open it. Yes. Yeah. Do y'all want to so see fun. me open my new uh, Disney version Unboxing. of the Scanning Cut? Because Unboxing. on Monday, Brother sent us an email. Normally, this is a dealer only model. Right. And you can only purchase it from a brick and mortar store. But on Monday, they said that we can sell the Persona, which is the single needle tubular arm embroidery machine online. Okay which I'll be doing a video with a brother educator probably on Thursday on that machine. Uh, it's awesome. on its way here now. Um, but the scan and cut Disney model is now available for online sales. And guess what? They had a promotion on it before they release it for the internet, which all of the people that buy it online are also able to, um, to use. So I'm going to put a link 
to this model. This is the 230D. This is the Disney exclusive scanning fat, and I believe it's limited edition, so they've only are allowed to make so many. Uh, but right. ours, there is a rebate from now until May 26th, which is in exactly one week. Yep. Um, as long as you purchase it before that date from all brands, um, there's a rebate form on our page. You get a free roll bag with that, which oh, I think is awesome. like perfect because like, you know, all your friends are going to be like, Hey, bring over the scanning cut while we're hanging out and doing crafts together. And you want something to like keep all your stuff in and be able to bring it over to people's houses and things like that. So it comes with the bag set through rebate. And you also get a $100 all brands gift card to buy oh more accessories God. with it. And you get the six foot vinyl roll feeder with that. So you can do like the six foot long vinyl decals. Yeah. And then. And they're great. Go ahead. Oh, there's great uh, Disney like wall designs uh, for, uh, for that. Uh, uh, scanning cut. It's really neat so, yeah. to use with your roll. Okay, so I'm going to move my camera. I'm going to put you full screen so people don't get seasick. And then okay. I'm going to uh, <laughs> maybe you can tell them a little bit more about the uh, the classes uh, while I'm setting up my camera. Um, well, I got a split. You know what? I have to show you. Where is it? Where'd it go? Where'd it go? Oh no. Oh. So we're having um, something that's on the schedule is the, um, since I do a lot of the Kimberbell uh, events, the one thing that's on the schedule right now uh, in June is the day, the one day event called Day at the Fair. And I made one of the samples today. And how cute is that? It's adorable, adorable. It is a pot holder. So, so you cut that out on the scanning cut, right? I can actually. I can cut uh, the little uh, wattle, I guess it's called, <laughs> and the eyes were scanning cut uh, files that I could cut there and and uh, and put that in place. I did not do that this time since this is kind of a, I guess, a poofy type of a, a project. Uh, anything that has kind of a loft, it doesn't quite uh, fit the um, placement line the way I, I would like for it to. If it was a flat one, it would be fantastic. But it has, it is belt too cute. And oh, look at that, how cute. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. <laughs> so there you go. This so if you want to see show. a full video, or actually go to our website because right now, if you're local, um, we're, talking to Rosemary about maybe doing some kind of virtual Kimberbell um, for yeah. people that are in San Antonio. And if that yeah. works, like we're going to ship them the kits potentially, and then you teach them over the phone, phone, computer, Skype, Zoom meeting somehow. Uh, but right. if that works in the future, wouldn't that be great to do? That would be great. That would be really like fantastic. that. So, but anyway, mm, Rosemary. Yep. Oh, it's Christmas. <laughs> so if you want to see a like really in-depth, I did do an unboxing at our store video on YouTube. Uh, but awesome. this is the Disney scanning cut. So it's oh my gosh. Oh so um temp like temporarily you get the all brands gift card, hundred dollars. You can finance this. So I think up to six months, zero percent financing. Um, and you get the roll bag set, which I don't have with me today, but I have, look how pretty, Mickey Minnie. Oh, yes, that little is, uh, they, they give you the paper to do that little part project right out of the gate. So oh there's gosh. no reason whatsoever. If you are opening your scan and cut, you go through that little quick, uh, start guide. And with that red pizza cardstock, you make that absolutely adorable little um, box, little gift oh my box. Gosh, that's so cute. Ah, so 
with the Disney scan and cut, you have like the actual Disney design. So it's not going to be like Mickey with his legs that are too skinny or not right ears <laughs> for those, for those uh, kind of creepy companies that you don't know where they're from putting out the fake Disney yeah. designs. I wouldn't suggest doing that because it doesn't, just doesn't turn out as good. So this is like a step-by-step -step project, but also on I Rotary too, and I want to do this with a, with the brother educator later this week. They have um, Disney designs that you can use on Disney available machines, which the persona I found out accepts the Disney designs from iRotary.com. Oh, really? Yeah. Oh. So wouldn't that be like a perfect addition yes. to a persona? And then you get the the persona you like the ten needle right here. Can you see that? You get the tubular arm embroidery, so you can do like all different kinds of things like that. So anyway, this is just like reading material. So let's get to the fun stuff. What's this? Oh, a power cord. Power cord. <laughs> That's kind of needed, right? Away. <laughs> Without opening it. Brother, I love the way they package everything because it's like it makes it so much easier. I don't have to. Oh, and since I fell off a ladder earlier this week. Uh, oh, here's like some accessories. So you get the rhinestone trial kit with this. Yes. So you get all of the rhinestones and you get a trial code for Canvas Workspace to make right. rhinestones designs. Have you done that program? I have. Oh, yeah. Well. Here's my shirt. I haven't done it on. There's there's right up on my shirt right there. That's cool. Oh my cool. gosh! I can't wait to so, bling it up. And then you get the universal right. pen holder here. So if you wanted to use like um, draw with your scan and cut, you can do yes. That. That's ah. worth its weight in gold. Oh my god! Just the rhinestone kit. Like the full kit, I think it's like seventy dollars on our website. If they yeah, it's eighty dollars. Yeah. Which one? Eighty. Eighty dollars, unless it's gone on sale. But yeah, it's it's up there. Yeah. But in so, order, you know, the fact that they're letting you try it for free is really fantastic. Oh yeah, and this is the link to the product. You can purchase this separately, oh, okay. but this comes with it. This is that special toolkit that comes with the. What do they call that scraper? tool the, oh right, look it says tool. it on the back <laughs> spatula <laughs> hook scraper precision tweezer which is nice because it's like automatically keeps it closed whenever you um right it's like the kind that it stays closed when it's not being pushed on. I don't yeah i don't have that one but for that project i did with that garden flag in where putting the uh, the letters in the right place tweezers were a must yes with that yeah <laughs> i'll use them on my serger too <laughs> not just my scan and cut yes it's nice to have good tweezers um oh here's my mats so oh here's that sheet oh. for the project oh and it's got That's some flick in it it's like um yeah it's pretty cool Ooh, that's fancy. And then these little pieces of paper in here, they don't look that special, but I love them because it has a little diagram on it that says like, are you cutting vinyl? This is the map that you use. Are you cutting fabric? This is the map that you use. And it's like a little, it's so, so helpful. Yep. So here's my low tech mat. And they just so happen because they're so kind. That's your to use. <laughs> Your high tech fabric support sheets, right? That's it. Yep. Already packaged with the low tech mat, and that's the mat that you're supposed to use it with. So thanks, brother, for packaging that separately. And then they put the the lightweight vinyl in with the standard mat because you, that's what you use for that. Well, that was the that was the low tech mat. The blue is low tech. The purple is standard. Oh, you're right. So you're okay. By the paper is with it yeah so this is a low tech okay because paper goes on low tech. Paper. correct yes Thanks. paper on low tech that's why i invited you on this video <laughs> <laughs> oh my gosh 
Okay, so here's some protective. So, warning, do not put this over your head. Um, please. <laughs> oh, gosh, it's been a week. Okay, so I'm going to put this down on the floor, and then I'm going to put this on the table. And, oh, my God, it's not very heavy. Just No, it's not heavy at all. Yeah. I would say maybe... I don't want to tell you the wrong thing, but it's not it's less than 10 pounds. Yeah. So this is a little fake screen on it. I don't know why they put that yeah. on there. <laughs> I don't want to mess it up though. Yeah, there's a lot of tape. Yeah. And look how cute it has the decals of Mickey and Minnie on it. Yeah. Oh my gosh. Yep. You don't even need to separate it yet. Ah. And, a lot, and it has the, my favorite brother blue tape. There's just something beautiful about this blue tape when you work at a fabric store and you get to unbox these machines it's like the special blue tape from the manufacturer <laughs> i'm such a nerd <laughs> um but yeah um do y'all have any questions or want to see anything else i mean i could plug it in do you want to so if you the open lines? the lid oh. i'm sorry look at the base open the base and all your accessory oh, oh open yeah. the base Oh, um, all your brother, accessories are in there. <laughs> the brother educators don't like it that I call it my junk drawer, but I'm just being honest with you <laughs> because it is my junk drawer. Like I keep all of my things in here and oh, there's more accessories in there, right? Let me just open this. And this is a little different color from the 225, right? Isn't that one like kind of gray? -ish? Yes. Like this is a very Yeah, the, the 225 white. is kind of blue. Yeah. Blue with white, a really light. Oh my gosh. It's Christmas. Christmas. So this so is have the uh, pins, the brother pin set. So in here you have the erasable pins for marking your seam allowance lines or you know like when you're marking yeah, fabric exactly. for cutting and it i think it air erases in like three days or something like that right. um and then you have another set of pens that you yeah. can draw with um like if you're making a card for someone and um or drawing yeah yeah so that's cool and then here's an accessory kit and here are my magic blades. The gold and the black. Your blades? <laughs> magic blades. Yeah. So this one's for fabric, and this one's for thicker, right? Correct. OK. The black one's for everything else. OK. And then I have a little other spatula. So you actually get two spatulas with this machine, and then my little, uh, my little stylus Correct. Yeah. with that. Then I'm going to send my rebate in if I buy it before next week, the May 26th, 2020. Um, yeah. So then I can get the free bag. And then All Brands is going to give me a $100 gift card so that I can buy, buy that Sullivan spray that you talked about earlier to cut fabric. So, yeah. But yeah. Um, <laughs> I'm sorry. What'd you say? The you can use your hundred dollar uh, gift card to buy more accessories. Yeah, vinyl. You can buy more accessories. Yes, yes. Oh my yes. gosh! So, um, thank you so much, Rosemary, for doing this with me. Absolutely. Let me go back to my. This was fun. Let me go back to my computer real quick. I'm just gonna put well, my. Hopefully, everybody can and, and let know what else you want to see on some of the other products okay sorry <laughs> i put my <laughs> this is a styrofoam behind me that i'm sitting here you are. excuse me okay <laughs> oh my gosh julie says please do a virtual kimberbell we will look into that yeah and zenny says what frame size do you use rosemary I'm not sure what that question was pertaining to. Frame size for for what? Uh, I did not I did not embroider this. Um, 
I did not embroider the project. I just used zigzag on my machine with invisible thread. That's all I used. Yeah. If I had to do an embroidery part of it, I would have to do some multiple hoopings and and just use the uh, the frame or the hoop that corresponds to uh, each uh, each one of those. Yeah. So. Okay. Well, what you think? What else? <laughs> Thank you so much, Rosemary. I think this was great. Thank you for your time. It's definitely something. Yeah, no problem. Oh my I hope god! Everybody learned a little bit. I always learn something when I come. <laughs> all right. Okay. Well, well thank that's you all. I will go ahead and find me out. Yeah. And uh, come visit us sometime in San Francisco, and uh, uh, and look for some more uh, education coming your way. Yes. Thank you for your love of sewing and embroidery, and for sharing that with the world today. Oh yes. We really appreciate you. You're a ray of sunshine. Absolutely. <laughs> All, All right. right. Well, thank you so much, Rosemary. <laughs> well, we'll see y'all later. All right. Yeah. Uh, thank you, everyone, for watching. Please subscribe to Rosemary's page and All Brands page. We'll be doing many more in the future. Mwah.